my name is Antonio Chien. I live in Jiru, Nairobi. I'm a teacher by profession and I'm also a business person. My name is Rebecca Okusi Ochieng. I'm uh, the wife uh, to Mr. Anthony Ochieng. Uh, I'm a businesswoman and I'm also a gospel artist. You can follow me uh, on Facebook, uh, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Rebecca Okusi in each and every handle. And, and this, this is, is our, our love story. story. We met in school, if I have to say, <laughs> and that was way back in the year 2011. We, I got an opportunity to go and uh, practice teaching, and it was a kind of a scholarship, so a sports scholarship to say. So we were five boys, I would say, at that time. And uh, the college we went to, we, it was a small college starting and they needed to do some marketing in sports. So in the heat of the moment, we met very many people, girls. And you know, when you are straight from high school, the pressures of having a girlfriend was there, <laughs> but it was not there with me because it was an opportunity to study and to play. But in that moment, I noticed a lady, a very beautiful woman. And uh, to inquire, because she had already reported earlier, earlier, I couldn't approach her instantly, but I had to ask from her friends, who is this lady? Where does she come from? So me coming from the rural side, I was told, ah, this lady is from Nairobi. <laughs> then that one alone turned me down. It kind of like, ah, will I really manage? I was standing on Nairobi. <laughs> but I nilijituma Nilijituma in a way. So it was not instant. But I used uh, proxies, my friends, to kind of inquire. And uh, from then, I think it, w it went well because I was not the only one in the race. <laughs> 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 eh? Eh? Knowing that I had already joined the college late, she were, came earlier for me, there was somebody else in the mix. So I had to be a gentleman also and play my cards safe. <laughs> Little did I know that I had already caught her eye, but I had to <laughs> do the job, you see. So as time went by, I took the initiative. There used to be a time we used to have entertainment. After supper, we have some entertainment. So I wrote a note and I gave a friend of mine. Now, while people were sitting watching the programs, a friend of mine did what? Passed the note. And that was it. <laughs> uh, that was, uh, from then on, everything is where, up to where it has reached. Yeah. Yes, to add on that, uh, I used to play volleyball in high school, and uh, he used to, pay, uh, to play uh, basketball. So there was that pressure. I know those ones who we, we were in school together, if they can see this, uh, this uh, program, they will attest to that there was pressure from basketball uh, boys to have girlfriends in the volleyball team boys. So you'll find that the, 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 the volleyball team, uh, le uh, team ladies would hang out with the basketball uh, men. So. There was a time we felt like we were the ones who, who were not doing what we are supposed to do as far as the matching was concerned. Uh, but I would say uh, I came first to the college. He caught my eyes, but I, I was waiting for him to do what men do. 
You know, at that time, you could go and talk to a gentleman and people will start gossiping. What, what kind of lady is this? Mm. And I know these days, uh, ladies go to men and propose to them and, uh, and uh, talk to them. But at that, uh, at that time, he caught my eye. Uh, the first thing that he didn't know that attracted me to him was his skin tone. Actually, he, he, that, uh, they call it melanin. I liked the melanin. The other gentleman <laughs> had uh, some brown uh, chocolate and everything, but the first thing that uh, actually showed me him was his color, his color. And then afterwards, that's when I had people saying, you know, your, 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 your boyfriend has good height and everything. But for me, at first it was there. The, the, what caught my eye was the, the, the color and then his personality. She was a beautiful lady, to say. <laughs> very beautiful and very outstanding. It was a small college. It was a private college. So while we were being brought there, we had some bit of experience with life. We were kind of traveled. And the people who we were put with in the same class, in the same alcohol and talk ocha, sana. So you find with us with a basketball, with the confidence we used to profuse and the basket the volleyball ladies also i believe uh, we most of the ladies there came also from nairobi so it was kind of a challenge so her personality uh, not only caught my eye she was also a beautiful lady at that time nobody in fact we were three men pursuing her <laughs> And it also came to a point whereby I will, I, you had to pull your best stunt to get her attention. So besides that, her confidence was okay. Then there was uh, that character of a go-getter. Yeah. You know, somebody who wants something and she knows how to get it and she wants it. She used to have that. Uh, so I'll say that this lady... Maybe she can be an improvement to me because I was kind of laid back. I knew the team we were having, like all the ladies will come to us. But yeah, yeah, alijueka like sita jipeleka tu venye mademo na jipeleka. No, I, somebody has to do something to get me out of where I am. So I said, okay, why is it that all these other girls, you just say hi, ah, everything is okay. But this one, hi, hi, you, lasmu jitume, that alone, yani the fact that you have to hustle to get her attention was very much attractive. That was, I think that was what pulled me even more. Ah, the first date. We had many, let me, the first date. Otoshi. Uh-uh. Yeah, okay, I, I remember. <laughs> In fact, it was a very basic one. <laughs> to those people who know Kisumu very well, there is a place known as Otonglo. Yeah, towards the airport. <laughs> so, the, each and every, after training, we will go out. We will go for walks. So, there used to be this place which used to cook fish. So apparently I didn't know that place, she liked to go in that place. When they will finish, they will go there, the ladies, they will go buy fish, then come back to college. But with her, instead of going to buy fish, she will go and eat the fish there. The way people eat mutura outside, that's how she used to eat, you see. So there was a time I found out, where did you buy this fish? You buy them in Otonglo. Why don't you take me also there? Because she will buy when it's supper time, she will get, bring some for me. Let's go there. So you find it was a kibanda. Yeah. So kufika apo, fish, very cheap. Kambia, ah, situ beba. No, we are not carrying, we are eating it here. So you find it is a kibanda, not that decent, a five star, no. Tukaya hapo tukule. So with us, me, Nikuan, Menzat, Kenda kibanda ni chapo, chapo don. Kambia, fish, tukule. 
So that was our first date in a shark in Otongolo there, where we had the fish and ugali, of course. <laughs> yeah. and yes, actually, in school, I would say Otosh was the, the next town, we would say that. Eh? It was the, a place where we could go. And then we, we loved the, the fish there was real. It was not that kind of fish which would, you would say that this is something which is uh, China fish. It was the real fish. And I remember when we went there, I remember when we went there, he, was, he thought I was somebody who would like, let's go to town and everything. But he was really amazed because he thought, Ude mwa Nairobi anenda kunitoanisha. So when we went, in fact, I remember I did not tell him to, to pay for anything. He was the one who, who went ahead and paid. I was to pay the normal way I usually pay. Yes, yeah, so uh, that was uh, our first date. And actually, I remember that date to this day. It's not actually with a date. With, when you find someone that you feel that you want to stay together or you want to hang out with, actually, you don't care about where you are. Actually, that moment is so precious to us. At this point, we can, we can go to a hotel and take lunch, but we cannot compare that moment with that day that we went to Otonglo. For at that period, we dated for like 18 months. 18. Up to 2011, up to 2012, uh, early 2012, 2011 up to early 2012, where we had some kind of uh, mishap at school and uh, we had to move out from the school and everybody again had to go back home. But now the chaos that we experienced then and she was not also that much stable to go back home because to break the news that the college was closed and everything that we've been working for has now disappeared was very much difficult on her side. So I told her, my dear, let's go home. In fact, that was the first instance she met my parents. Let's go home. She asked me, what? What do you think? I'm here, let's go home. I'm calling my parents, telling I'm coming with a guest. I didn't tell my parents she was a lady friend. <laughs> Just told I'm coming with a guest who is a friend. What we, something happened in school and I'm coming with her. So at home we stayed for like a month is when she came back to Nairobi to her place. After that, we kind of been communicating on and off for like a year. After a year, we went off. Besides that again, we came back to communicate after maybe a year. That was in 2014. Yeah, it found me in Mombasa. We went for some games there and we met the same friends we were with in college. So I told her, ah, my dear, we are in somewhere here and I've met somebody and they are asking all about you. So that was in 2014. 2015, I traveled to Garissa. That's when, again, we kind of lost contact for apparently two years. We were now, if we were to communicate, we, it was only basically on social media. Facebook, we were inboxing each other. That was the only communication we had. But uh, we rekindled things in the year 2017, late. That is when we again rekindled the friendship we had. And uh, it led to marriage after <laughs> that. Yeah. After, after we separated from college, I remember that time we went, uh, we went to his parents' place. Okay, with me, he had become my friend and uh, a close friend. Mm. I, at that moment, I, had, I, would, I would not have said that he would be my husband at that moment. Because I was, you know, Madame uh, Nairobi mnachezanga, mnataka kuwa safe, as he was saying. And I was thinking, okay, maybe this is something which came up in college. 
I, we don't need to force it. Maybe it was a friendship thing, and then we go back and find our partners. Now, when we went to, for him, I think he, he had already made up his mind that he's going to marry me. And then I remember there's, uh, the first time he proposed to me, it was at his parents' place. That time we went to his parents' place. And it came at a surprise and a shock to me. Because me, I knew <laughs> we are friends. <laughs> and now he went down on his knee. In fact, we were in the sitting room and he proposed. Actually, he reminded it some years back. He reminded me about it and I told him, I, I had forgotten. I don't remember you proposing to me. <laughs> so that time he proposed. And uh, uh, at that moment, the feeling was not mutual. Me, I knew he was a friend and we, I wanted to know more of him because in the college, we had known each other for two years. And uh, so far, what I had seen in him, I, I thought he was the one, but Badon ilikuwa na zile matashushi mingi. And I think uh, that attitude ilichangia sana to the delay of our marriage. Because if it was to get married, to get one at that time. And then mimi nikarudi Nairobi, kurudi Nairobi nikashikuwa na unairobi mingi, design haki nipigia, sometimes na muigno, sometimes I'm not picking up his calls and everything. But you will find na nyamaza, sometimes mi mwenyo na chukua simu na mpigia. Because I would say, unapata, I would look for that kind of character. Enye nilikuwa nimeona kwake. And uh, kuna kitu nilikuwa nimemuambia, nilikuwa nimeambia, nilikuwa na mwona kona some kind of calmness. You know, me am somebody when nikishikuwa na, na pressure mingi, I will not want somebody mwenye ukaribu na mimi ya kuena the same pressure. Tutaribu kila kitu. But him, ukimletea pressure flani, he is very calm. And he handles things come up, come. So that thing also attracted me to him. To which it took a lot of time in Nairobi for me to note that this is the person. So, you and Garissa, I can Garissa, we communicated to Garissa. And there is one thing he also told me, and I will not forget that. He told me <laughs> that if I don't marry you, I'll become my priest. <laughs> I thought so, ni line I thought ni line ile au so unajua wachaliwa kwa sangi kila mtu akona line yake I actually <laughs> told her that while we were in uh, college because me kuenda kole and that was my first college I had not experienced girlfriend things not what are for so kufika pale si basketballers wale machali you find them they just uh, hook up with a lady and the lady is like iko but me, there was something I was looking for. At the same time, coming from a very religious family, I was like, what I've already created with this lady in these 15, 18 months we were together, it is not just easy for me to let go of it. Even by that time I was proposing to her, it was after my dad told me, you know, this lady has been with us after she came from school and her parents might be worried. I'm uh, planning to buy her a ticket to go home at least to see her parents. So I was like, if I let this girl go now, that's the end of it. <laughs> and true to my words, it was going to be the end of it. Because after she traveled, Nilim Sindikiza Adikwa stage, we said our goodbyes, we tried to maintain contact by phone. And uh, what made me know that it was over, and I had to let go of it. It was a time I had, uh, in fact, I wanted to surprise her on her birthday. Nika piga hassles kisumu. Nika that evening, I just what I had put on a short sport shoes and a t-shirt. The bus to Nairobi. Nika fika that those days buses was na shuki ambassador. Nika shuki ambassador. It was around three in the morning. Coming to Uhuru Park, now I'm calling her because that was the landmark I knew very well. Oh, hi, Rebecca. I'm in Nairobi. Huh? She was like, what? What have you come to do? I have a surprise for you and I have just to see you. Come here, no. I'm busy. Come here, it's just a surprise. You don't need long. Makiu, she stood me up. I can yuma raw sano. So, at that time, I slept in the street. Next day, nika enda stage, nika tuchukua basi next, back to Kisumu. Nilika sirika sana, in fact, I always tell her that thing broke my hand. Kambia nye anu wasichano wa Nairobi kweli, wa nilitokwa. 
went back nikaingia maambia how are things nikamwambia vitu ziko sawa i need didn't tell my parents that yo things are in fact up to the moment we were getting married they all knew that we were okay only that she used to make surprises at home like on some december on the 25th she came so they always knew ah those people are still strong me na kwa kill najua that was history mm-hmm. but i could not tell them that we were done so only god knows what happened because me pia ndio iliniuma ro in fact i always say like the photos that we took back at college i burned some of them in fact uh, i came to see some copies of her photo zenye alikuwa nazo ndio nilikuwa namkumbusha na zenye nilikuwa nimeweka facebook ndasa ulicho kambe you don't know how you broke my heart then <laughs> yeah? yeah so it has been ups and downs but i thank god because If it is something is yours it's yours even if you let go of it it still come back to you. Yeah. <laughs> With my parents I usually actually I mentioned that to them while still in college because when I came back uh vitu zikasimama as I said uh vitu zilisimama nikaka ni kama i'm looking for a new life and everything but now i talk to my parents my dad had no issue my mom is the one who was very insistent i want to see this guy na kama mnataka ku settle down tunataka kujua what is bringing in to the table she was hesitant because and she was very protective alikuwa anani protect sana but i would say uh, in in our family We are not brought up in that kind of family that mnaambiwa we want this type of men or uh, if you don't bring that, this one they want you to go get somebody that you know I will stay with this person for the rest of my life and then bring uh, but my mom do alikuwa too hesitant but with the time ali alikuja kukubali